Hello, my name is Preston Fleming. I'm an American author who recently published my sixth novel under the title Made of by Kahl, a novel of the Russian Civil War. I'm speaking to you today at the request of my good friend Maxim Efimov, who thought that Made of by Kahl might interest his Russian audience. To introduce the novel to you, I thought it best to address some basic questions that readers might want to ask. Question. First, what is the story about? Imagine this. What if a Siberian Joan of Arc had rescued the White Armies at a critical point in the Russian Civil War? Made of Baikal offers an alternative outcome to that war through the main character of Jeanne de Rokina, a young woman from the shores of Siberia's Lake Baikal. Like the historical Joan of Arc in 15th century France, Jeanne displays a charisma and an unusual military skill that gain her command of an army. Then, after overcoming a series of deadly challenges, Jeanne leads her fellow Siberians to victory over the Red Army. It's an inspiring story of a young woman who presses on despite overwhelming odds out of devotion to God and country. Question, why should a Russian reader be interested in a story about Russia written by an American? Several reasons, I think. First, as an outsider, I am free to consider the events of 1918 to 1920 without being a slave to conventional wisdom. Second, because in 1918, America sent some 8,000 troops to Siberia to help guard the Siberian Trans-Siberian Railroad, and sent another 5,000 troops to ports in northern Russia. America also supplied hundreds of thousands of tons of Allied weapons and supplies to the whites from warehouses in Russia that were intended for the Imperial Russian armies in World War I. And third, because the American people have always had an interest in fostering a free, prosperous, and democratic Russia. Question. What is different about this book from others written about the Russian Civil War? Made of by Kahl is an alternative historical novel. That is, it's historically accurate in most respects, but certain events are altered to create a different historical outcome. Nearly all of the characters in Made of by Kahl are actual historical figures, and I've done my very best to portray them as fairly and as sympathetically as I could. Question, which historical events did I change? Most important, I think, are the adjustments I made to events on the Urals front in April and May of 1919. These changes and the modified behaviors of Admiral Kolchak and his staff under Jeanne's influence create a cascade of events that lead to a white victory. Question, what do you believe would have been required for the whites to actually win the Civil War? In my view, the key factor is that the Siberian forces and particularly Admiral Kolchak's government at Omsk were not worthy of winning. At Kolchak showed poor military judgment, incompetent governance of a territory under his control, and a fatal shortness of vision. The Siberian people, who were demoralized after years of war and hardship, deserve better leadership. My novel shows, despite their shortcomings, Admiral Kolchak and the White Forces could have beaten the Bolsheviks had they been willing to make the sacrifices necessary to win. Question, how could Admiral Kolchak and his men have, been made, have made themselves more worthy of winning? Let me give you an example of how this actually happened once before. In 1428, during the Hundred Years' War, the English invaders occupied nearly all of France. The uncrowned French king, the Dauphin Charles, was a weak and vacillating ruler. The French armies and most of the French people felt defeated and lacked the will to resist the English invaders. Then, as if out of nowhere, a teenage girl named Joan of Arc arrived at the Dauphin's court, claiming that if Charles followed her advice, which she received in visions directly from God, she would lead the French to victory over the English. And in the course of one year, Joan and her troops drove the English from their strongholds along the River Loire. Charles was crowned king, and the French people regained their fighting spirit. Nearly all English troops were expelled by the end of Charles's reign. Made of Baikal tells a similar story of a teenage girl from Lake Baikal who travels to Omsk, somehow persuades Admiral Kolchak to send her to the Ural's front, and wields her charismatic influence to transform the Admiral and his inner circle 
into men worthy of leading a free and democratic Russia. Question, how similar is the fictional genre to the historical Joan of Arc? Fortunately, a detailed historical record exists of Joan of Arc's life. I patterned the character and life events of the fictional genre as closely as possible after the real Joan. The account of Joan's, Joan of Arc's final year is truly one of the most inspirational stories to be found anywhere. My aim was to capture this drama in my fictional account of Jeanne's final year. In fact, I see many parallels between the French situation in 1428 and that of Siberia in 1918. Like the, like the indecisive Dauphin, Admiral Kolchak seemed completely out of his element as a commander-in-chief of land forces and head of state, despite his earlier successes as a naval officer. Unlike the Hundred Years' War, however, the Russian Civil War took place in a much more complex environment than that of 1428 France, with many more forces at work. Not least of these forces were Russia's former allies in the war against Germany, who intervened at various times and places to assist the whites with mixed results. The Americans and British, Americans and British alone supplied hundreds of thousands of tons of arms and supplies to the Siberian armies, and diplomatic recognition was dangled before the Omsk regime for, for months. But formal recognition never came, largely because of Kolchak's image abroad as a brutal dictator bent on restoring power to the wealthy and powerful at the expense of ordinary Russians. In May of Baikal, young Jana succeeds in changing uh, al allied perceptions toward the Kolchak regime, both by nudging Kolchak toward fairness and reform, and by helping him show um, a more attractive face to the world. Then as the Siberians achieve successes on the battlefield, they also receive the international recognition and foreign military aid that they need to continue the war. Question. The Russian Civil War was a conflict fought by Russians on Russian soil. Why give so much attention to the Allied intervention? Today, when many Americans still harbor old suspicions about Russian motives, I wanted to call my readers' attentions, uh, attention to a time before the Bolshevik Re Revolution, when Russia, America, Great Britain, and France were close allies. A time when Americans and their leaders supported the cause of freedom and prosperity for all Russians. I wanted my readers to imagine how, rela how relations between Russia and the West might have turned out differently had, a, had Admiral Kolchak and the White Forces defeated the Red Army and by, dose, by so doing had saved the world from a century of Bolshevism. Question, where can I find a copy of your novel? The novel is available as a downloadable ebook in English from Amazon.com. The price is quite low as I published it independently of the major publishing houses. The Made of Baikal ebook also includes three custom maps, a dozen photographs of characters who are actual historical figures, and a list of musical themes by chapter from Russian composers of the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Question, when will a Russian language edition of Made of Baikal be available? I would be delighted to work, to work with a Russian publisher to make Made of Baikal available in the Russian language. If you like the novel, please spread the word among those who might help to make this happen. And don't forget to post a reader review on Amazon.com to share your unique perspective as a Russian reader. Question, what is the nature of your personal connection to Russia? My grandparents emigrated to, to America before the First World War from the Baltic region on my mother's side and from eastern Ukraine on my father's side. I grew up in Cleveland, Ohio, an industrial city in America's Midwest, among families that came from Russia, Ukraine, Poland, the Baltics, Armenia, Georgia, and all over Eastern Europe. I began studying Russian language and culture as a teenager, and many years later, traveled often on business to the Russian Far East. Though I have not been back to Russia in recent years, I hope to visit again one day soon. Thank you for listening. I also welcome your questions and comments. If you'd like to contact me, please do, th do so through the contact section of my website at PrestonFleming.com or by email at Preston at PrestonFleming.com. I hope you enjoy reading Made of My Call.